the difference in news and information. This is today's THB This Morning. Still ahead right here on THB 11, thinking about buying a home or perhaps refinancing in the new year? Bank of Little Rock Mortgage joining us with some insight into the real estate market for 2013, plus how the fiscal cliff debate has affected it. This past year has no doubt been an interesting one for the real estate business. As the nation began to recover from the housing market crash, we saw mortgage rates hit historic lows month after month, and more recently, housing prices have begun to rise. So what does 2013 hold for us? Well, Scott McElmurray, president and CEO of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage, is here to offer some insight this morning. Scott, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we appreciate having you come in. You know, really the perfect time of year to kind of reflect on what happened and at last year and look right, forward right. to we what this new year holds. Today, yeah, right? yeah, that's what we're sure. going to try to do. First, uh, let's talk about the mortgage rates. Are they going to remain at these historic lows that we're seeing now? We think so. Um, certainly in the first half of the year, we think they'll remain at least at or near historic lows. Probably the second half of the year, they may start going up, but uh, certainly remain below 4% for the year. Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask you, good. actually. Where is it sitting right now? It's about 3.125, 3 and a quarter, again, depending upon what loan program you're going with. Okay. Bought a house uh, in 2011, so I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have waited uh, and gotten a little bit better finance, of a rate. Right. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Uh, how does the fiscal cliff debate that we're hearing so much about now, of course mm -hmm. a deal was reached, how does that affect the housing and also this well, mortgage? Well, certainly. And I think we hit kind of one of three different uh, pieces of the fiscal cliff. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the action that happened caused the stock market to increase right. a little bit poor for rates, actually. Anything that's better for economic numbers is generally, uh, uh, in some cases, poor for rates. But we still have the uh, debt ceiling and mm -hmm. the sequestra sequestration yeah. to, to deal with. And, mm -hmm. and the rating agencies will determine whether what's done is good or not. And if it's not, that's not going to be good for rates. Yeah, we haven't seen the last of that fiscal uh, cliff. No, uh, I think we got two <laughs> months. And in about two months, yeah. we got another yeah, debate. It's going to all come back. What about these, uh, these housing prices. Will they continue to rise? Well, we've seen some modest increases um, in pricing. I think we consider that that's going to continue. Uh, it's not going to be anything rapid, but I think we'll still see modest rises in, in prices. All right. And then, you know, you mentioned refinancing. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a lot of people doing that, trying to get these better rates, especially beginning uh, of the year? Is 2000, this time to well, do 2012 it? 2012 was an incredible year for refinancing. And I think if you haven't done it in the last year, which some people did it two years ago and then refinanced again last year because it just made sense. Uh, it's certainly a good time to at least investigate it. Um, rates continue to remain at historic lows and, and you owe it to yourself to at least check it out. It may not be for everybody, but it, it is a great time to do it. All right, some expert opinions from <laughs> Scott McElmurray of Bank of Little Rock Mortgage. Uh, we actually have contact information to put up on your screen. The website there, it looks like blmortgage.com if you're needing some more information. BLR Mortgage. BLR Mortgage. BLR Mortgage. BLR Mortgage. And we do have a refinance ebook okay. uh, online that people can look, download and uh, get some more information. Great idea. Make uh -huh. sure that you're making the right choices. Scott, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. having you with us.